ECRX. Okay. BioCris, is that right? BioCris Pharmaceuticals? Yes. All right. And I'm going to China. I've been telling all my family and friends since after the offering at $4.50 in June. And 80% of them didn't listen to me, right? My first purchase was right after offering because I knew it was going to be a safe bet. They, they had a drug for HAE, which only had an injection. So it's going to be the first drug approved in an oral form. But that is not even for me, is even the, the bigger of this stock. We have a factor D pipeline that just proved that it's mm -hmm. uh, efficacious and what affected pipeline is the main disease for PNH and the Alexion, 90% of Alexion revenue is based on their factor D. And we have the potential to have an even better factor D. So not only we got funding to launch this new product for 325 million, so we have plenty of cash, but we are waiting for Japan approval this month. We are waiting for new approval in January. And we also have some data on the factor D pipeline in Q1. Not only that, we also have Galadesvir, which is would be a Gilead's competition for Redemsevir, that seems to be a really good medication for COVID. And you know, with the vaccines, uh, they're not showing uh, people are not people are losing their immunity after four months. So I think that's going to be a huge amount of need because Redemsevir, it's good, but I think there's better products out there. So we're still waiting to use that. So I'm predicting that we can have 100% upside by um, April of next year. This will be a $15 stock by April and a huge, imagine Alex Young got bought out for 32 billion, 32 billion last week. Imagine if we have a proof of concept for factor D that is even a better factor D than Alex Young, like this guy is the limit. Yeah, I know you were working for Gilead, but like what brought you to this? Like, how do you know this company so well? I found this company because mainly because of Galadesvir, you know, I knew that it was a very potential drug. I don't know. I mean, going to stock tweets, you get ideas. Oh, actually, no, actually I found BCRX from uh, investing on TRVN, which I, I am holding long, which is Trivina and members of that board talk about BCRX. And that's when I decided to dig and uh, decided to research. And I knew I was going to be sitting on a gold mine. W which website? You said Trivina? Yeah, it was Trivina. So I was on a Trivina, stock tweets on Trivina, and somebody mentioned TRX. Oh, okay. The good thing about Twitter and stock tweets, uh, you have to do your own. You've got to do your own DD, but it's a really good avenue to find picks, you know, early on. So well, you, 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 pro you probably haven't seen this thing. So here we put trade idea ideas in. So, you know, on a lot of these social platforms, it's a lot of, you know, back and forth. This is a new thing, but it's just ideas, a like catalyst with ideas. So yeah. you'll literally see just catalysts and ideas, but they have to make some modifications to it. But literally I buy stocks off this thing every day because I like IDX and like this guy, Matt Bills put in, it's EV play, whatever. And so I, there's a lot of noise around here. And I, so I try to find stuff where I can find catalyst trades and look for ideas like the one you're talking about, like this BCRX looks interesting.